Good morning to you, Fellowship Bible Church. Um, you know, it's funny, we didn't do video announcements ever. And then over the last year, we've done several, but it's been a while since I've done one. But I just felt led of the Lord to just send you a video of myself talking through just two exciting things um, coming up this week for the church that I just felt like I needed to to say it to you. Um, and we're, God has been really faithful to us over the last year. And, and we're coming up on about 50 services since the beginning of COVID-19. And I was just reflecting this week on the words that I've read aloud the most over the last year. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. That, that blessing from Numbers chapter 6 has been the closing to every service since the beginning of going online only for a few weeks at the beginning of COVID-19. And, and as we've gone back to in-person, every service has continued to be closed with that blessing. And, and so why do we do that? What, why do we uh, proclaim the Lord's blessing that was originally proclaimed through Aaron to the people in the wilderness? Well, I really want us to unpack that tonight and our prayer time together. So uh, we've had people in and out of, of our Wednesday night prayer meeting over the last year, and, and some people have been able to zoom in and some people are coming in person, but I'd really just love to give you a personal invitation tonight. Join us at seven o'clock and let's unpack the Lord's blessing over Israel and over his people tonight. Let's let's look at at what it means for us to live under the blessing of the Lord and, and what what those words can say to us. So whether you come in person and join us in the backstage cafe, we'd love to have you here. Um, but also if you uh, if you can zoom in, uh, we'll put the link in this email. We'd love for you to zoom in and participate that way. And, and we'll spend the first part just hearing what God is saying to us through Numbers chapter six. And then we'll just pray in faith for the Lord's blessing over over this church, over over God's people in, in all nations and, and just God's way forward um, in the midst of trying times. Um, so I'm really excited about prayer meeting tonight. So I really wanted to just share that with y'all and, and hope that, that some of you would just join us for that. Uh, second thing that I'm excited about that I want you to know, we're literally having dinner together on Sunday night. And that is so awesome. And God is so gracious to bring us to this point where we felt like this is just a need that we have as a body to gather together. The food is going to be free for you from Lisa's Cafe, chicken tenders and some sides. And if you want to eat, let Ramona know you're coming. It's six o'clock Sunday night in the gym. Um, the meals will be individually boxed and you'll just come through the line. You'll go to your seat and then you'll hear some of the normal stuff about what's going on in the life of the church. But we we have a big financial update to give you because last year was just crazy in the way God provided abundantly for us. And we're really excited to share that with you. We have a transition, you know, in our youth and kids ministries. I, I want to share with you some of the vision that the elders are, are presenting in those ministries and why we're so excited about what God's going to do over the next uh, few years in those ministries. We're, we're just really looking forward to what God has for us. Um, but also we just want to talk about just where we are in the midst of the pandemic and how we're continuing to move forward, how we as a church prepare to live in, in, in an increasingly hostile culture, culture. There's some elements of that that will be discussed tonight. Um, there's just a lot going on. There's a lot that God is doing. And as I have individual conversations with church members, it's clear God is moving by his spirit. He is working. And, uh, and I'm just excited to have another opportunity to move forward with you guys and to just gather in the same room. So let us know if you're coming on Sunday night. Um, I hope you'll do both. I hope you'll come Wednesday night for prayer tonight, and I hope you'll join us uh, Sunday evening at six for dinner as well. May the Lord bless you and keep you this week.